So historical instruments, at least um, the ones that we play on, uh, have gut strings as opposed to steel strings. So you can see here that uh, this little tag here, that's actually a part of the gut string because we've tied it at the bottom. Uh, that's how you do it. And so there are no fine tuners down here. We have to tune using the pegs. Uh, so they are open gut strings, except for the G, which is steel wound gut. And um, also, can you show them your bow? So for Kevra's piece, we are going to be using a Baroque bow. Um, we don't have a modern bow for comparison, but if you can see the shape here where it's thick here and then it gets skinny here and the shape is pretty straight. That is, that shape actually makes a very different sound than a modern bow which has a dip in it. So it goes wide and skinny and wide again. So we'll be using a Baroque bow. The three chorales that we will be performing next for you are by Kebra Sayan Charles, the grand prize winner of the 2022 Sphinx competition. Kebra has received degrees as a double basis from both New England Conservatory and the Juilliard School. In their compositions, they like to emulate aspects of genres they have heard, especially from the Baroque and Classical periods. In fact, they like to refer to their own compositions as New Classicism. For these chorales, Heber do inspiration from Bach and the driving quality of Baroque harmonies, while at the same time adopting modern and jazz elements. Because Kebra was so inspired by Bach in the writing of these chorales, we chose to perform them on historical instruments using Baroque bows. Before we present our unique interpretation of Kebra's work, here's a video they made specially for you. Hi, my name is Kebra Sion Charles, and I'm currently at the Capitol playing in the Library of Congress. I'm sad I couldn't be there, but I'm glad that you get to play my music, which has made a lot of heartfelt time and effort. Um, I like to write what I call neoclassical music. Uh, that means that it is the third installment of the classical uh, movement. The first being Mozart, Haydn, people like that. The second being neoclassicists like Rasfigi, like Prokofiev, and even Shostakovich, and certainly Stravinsky. Uh, the music that I write features a lot of counterpoint, which harkens itself to the music of Bach. Um, when playing my music, I ask the performer, uh, through lack of interpretive uh, direction, to figure out what makes their interpretation special and what makes their understanding of classical music unique and itself. Um, I hope that you, you get to experience um, that joy of understanding the performers through their interpretation in my pieces. Thank you all so much for listening, and uh, I hope I get to see you all in person at some point.